it's Adam, uh, the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Well, I'm one of many, just like you guys. Um, okay, look, what we're doing today is, or this evening, I suppose, I'm gonna show you something. That is a cigar box, okay? It's a little part of gas box, real pretty little thing. Um, sometimes it's difficult for builders to get a hold of cigar boxes. I know some places it's very, very difficult to get uh, cigar boxes. Now, I have some options for you. The first one is obviously to build your own box. You can do license plate guitars. Uh, we tend to do license plate guitars really well uh, here at Burble Guitars. Um, you can make solid body uh, three and four string guitars. They're great fun. I know MGB does uh, some awesome kits. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking at uh, ordering one of the kits and putting it together uh, in the near future. Um, we also do things with, bear with me. Coming right back at you. Things with this type of material. All right. And this is ply. Now you can do an amazing amount of things with ply. It's rather resonant. It's, it's, you can see I've actually got a, a shape outlined, drawn in here, ready for a dog bowl resonator. Uh, so I actually build dog bowl resonators out of this and they're great fun. So you don't always have to use cigar boxes, all right? Now I know this is called the cigar box guitar builder, but here's another option. I actually use, and I've noticed since I've been doing these, I'm gonna say this and I'll be honest with you, since I've started doing these, I've noticed some other builders actually picking the, picking up this and doing the same thing. Good, there's nothing wrong with that. Initially I kinda of went, eh, and then I thought, you know what, great. If more people are doing it, that's all good fun. Um, what we've got is this. Now you can buy these, at art stores and these are little frames you do little paintings in there you know you might do a painting or you might do some sort of whatever however ah, you can actually use these now I do a lot with um, public domain Images. Now these are free images. They are copyright free, so that you're not infringing upon someone else's copyright uh, or uh, someone else's artwork. Basically, you're not you're not taking advantage of someone else's work. This is something that has been put. Uh, it's available freely on the internet. There's lots of these kind of things. Give it a go. You know, I know that there's people out there doing out there doing it. Um, I've I've been doing these now for quite a while. I actually started doing these nearly five years ago. Um, I gave it a break for a, a little while while I was focusing on other things, but I'm back doing them again. Um, and I have been doing so now for almost a year or so. Now, one of the things you can actually do, um, it's a shame I don't have the guitar here, but I'm actually a really big fan of Daddy Mojo. I love Daddy Mojo's um, cigar box guitars. Um, although, I will tell you something, as you may or may not know, they don't make them. They don't make the cigar box guitars now using traditional cigar boxes. They actually have their own made. Now I've actually decided. Hey, look, I reckon I could do something like that. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an idea of what I've been doing. Now, if you go to the internet, it's like Adam. What are you doing? Giving away all these free ideas and things like that. Well, that's what the podcast and that's what this YouTube channel is all about. It's about sharing ideas. It's about, you know, giving back to the community that's been good to me. All right, so what we've got here are these little hinges. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hinge. Let's see if we can get some light onto the subject. There's a little hinge there. I'm doing this at night time, okay? Got a hinge there and over here. And I got these off eBay. All right, so... They're not particularly expensive, but the thing I like about them is that they're actually really quite firm. And these are really pretty. And I've been doing, for a little while now, my own boxes. They're a bit thicker and a bit wider. They end up being a fair bit wider than your standard cigar box. 
So you can see actually how thick that is. I'm going to quickly pop one together for you now and just give you a little bit of an idea of how they work out. Now I haven't pre-done this, so I'm hoping everything lines up nicely. I have pre-drilled the holes, so we'll see what happens. So I'm going to pop one here. Maybe in the near future I might do these as a live, as a live thing. So let, let's see what we can do. So there we go. That's one. Here's two. I'll do this on the other side. So I've re I've pre I've pre-drilled these, and the boxes are stained. So they're actually almost ready to have the neck pocket cut and the neck inserted. Now, here's the fourth screw for this one here. I'm not going to be fast forwarding this because I can chat to you in, in the meantime. So, I wonder what other boxes you could actually use. I know wine, um, wine boxes, you can actually pick up wine boxes. Again, you can pick a lot of things up off eBay, relatively inexpensively, but you can buy wine boxes from your local um, bottle shop um, or liquor store, if you're in, in the States, I think you call them liquor stores. Um, they're not particularly expensive. I think over here in Australia they cost about $10. Um, I've spoken to a few people over in Europe who actually have a very, very difficult time getting cigar boxes um, for some reason. I'm not sure why. But now, there we go. So that's the first part of the process. And you end up with a really pretty looking clasps on the top. And down the bottom here, we're going to put... There we go, get some couple more screws out. Now again, as I said, I've pre I've pre-drilled these. It's a very cold night, so I'm not going to stay out here for much longer because I'm I didn't come down with the jumper on, and it's the middle of winter here in, in the Blue Mountains. So currently it's around about currently it's about six degrees Celsius. So it's bloody cold. I don't know what that's in Fahrenheit. But I'll put it bluntly as it's bloody cold. It's actually it's actually so cold that Prince the dog, who usually loves to come downstairs and whimper and bark and moan while I kick his toy around, around the place. This is my wife calling me. And there we go. Last screw going in. And here we go. Prince is out. He's come down. All right. So this is just giving you a little bit of an idea of what we end up with. Now, clasps actually hold things together really nicely. I don't. Once everything's done and once everything's set, I don't rely on uh, on the clasp to do the job. I'll actually. Once everything's done and I'm happy with how everything is, I'll actually glue everything shut so it'll be perfectly glued. So if you can see that, I hope you can see that in the light a little bit better. Got a nice piece of artwork on the top there. I'll put some sound holes in, the bridge will sit through, the neck will come straight through the body. And that's actually a really nice little, little piece. So you don't just have to make these from cigar boxes. You can actually use anything. And I actually think that's right. That's quite a bit bigger, isn't it? Look at the thickness. This is a smaller box though, I will say. It's I'll probably do a diddly bow out of this little one string with the you know with a pole. But there we go. Give it a try. Art boxes. Not just for paintings. You can actually do all sorts of fun things with them. And these clasps are really Really, really strong. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. That's Adam from Birdwood Guitars and the Cigar Box Guitar Builder saying thanks for watching. And uh, remember, if you like what you're seeing, press that button. Subscribe. Subscribe.
as I've heard someone say on another YouTube channel. I'll let you go. Bye.